the MBA students of IGNU. Uh, welcome to Santosh Sir classes. And uh, as we know, ki the next exam is uh, of Business Ethics and CSR. The code is MMPC 20. And uh, those students who are appearing this exam, I think uh, these uh, my suggestions uh, will be a great help to all of uh, you. So let's begin with a few important questions that you can revise for this exam. And you can also buy my study materials. Uh, you can uh, follow the, you know, the links, the WhatsApp numbers and the email addresses uh, in the description box of the video from where you can purchase my, uh, this very useful study materials, which can help you to score very good marks in the exam. Okay, so let's see a few important uh, questions of this uh, particular subject. Okay. Uh, my first question uh, will start from what is business ethics and uh, what are its important characteristics and uh, what is its important roles in the business management. So as we know business ethics are the moral principles that act as a guidelines uh, for uh, conducting business. A business ko conduct karne ke liye jo moral principles hum log frame karte hain so that is called business ethics. And this the characteristics ki baat kare to you know these, uh, these are the characteristics social values and uh, these are the basic guidelines or parameters uh, for uh, doing the business activities. It is related with human behavior. It has a certain code of conduct which has to be followed by every business organization. And uh, business ethics is also a science and an art. And it is also very closely related with the uh, social responsibilities of business. Okay, now let's talk about the importance of uh, this business ethics in business management basically uh, the business ethics are applied in case of science uh, i mean finance where you know uh, the true and accurate informations about the company should be available to its uh, stakeholders uh, it is also applicable in the human resource uh, department where you know the employees should be paid uh, according to their skills and expertise and qualifications and uh, it is also helpful in marketing where the company should uh, only market uh, a good quality of goods and services and uh, <clears throat> there should not be any fraudulent activities by the company and uh, it also you know helps in the production ethics so you know to quali to uh, manufacture good quality of uh, goods and services so that should be there this difference between law and ethics uh, this also you can revise for the exam uh, the next one is uh, explain the important theories of business ethics. So basically, uh, we have these three theories, traditional theories and uh, contemporary theories and postmodern theories. Uh, in this traditional uh, theory, we have again, it is divided into two types, uh, teleology and uh, dentology. So you, uh, this question also very important one. So about this theory, you should write its uh, important features like, you know, this teleology uh, it has some, uh, you know, features like egoism, then uh, utilitarianism and justice by fairness. So all these uh, needs to be, you know, described properly. Sometimes you get uh, this in uh, short notes also. And in the contemporary approaches or theories, we have uh, again three types of theories. One is uh, feminist, the other is discourse and uh, postmodern ethics. So these three theories, uh, you know, you need to understand and learn. The next question uh, you can do for this exam is ethical dilemma. What do you understand by ethical dilemma and how can we overcome this dilemma? So basically ethical dilemma is a problem in the decision making process between two possible options and uh, neither of which is absolutely acceptable uh, from the ethical point of view. So we are in a dilemma. In everyday life also we face this problem uh, quite often of the dilemma and uh, these are few techniques how to solve uh, an ethical dilemma. So these methods uh, you need to uh, you know learn for the exam and uh, one more this uh, navigation wheel as you can see on your screen this wheel. So this wheel was basically you know uh, framed by this Norwegian scholars that they are like uh, Kevalness and uh, overagents. So this ethical will, which has uh, you know uh, six uh, navigations. So this also comes in short notes quite a lot of times. So you should revise this. 
and these are all the wheels that uh, you know law identity morality so these are the basic uh, you know the wheels of uh, this uh, uh, to solve the dilemma and uh, this reputation economy and ethics so these six wings of the wheel uh, they uh, help to solve this dilemma uh, one more uh, lean pains uh, moral compass that also helps in the decision making and overcoming the dilemma so this question also needs your attention for this exam uh, one more that is uh, kidder's ethical checkpoints this is very important one for the exam so this also should be you know well prepared by you uh, the next question is uh, what are the general factors that influence business ethics so basically these seven factors you can mention in your answer like you know personal code of ethics then we have legislation leadership quality government rules and regulations uh, ethical code of the company social pressures and ethical climate industry so these factors affect the business ethical process of a business enterprise the next question is uh, what are the various internal and external factors that influence business ethics among the internal factors you can write about the employees uh, the money and the resources available in the company and the company's culture so, and uh, in the external factors you can write about the economic conditions uh, the customers and uh, the suppliers the government policies so these are external factors which affect the business ethics uh, the next question is uh, what is csr corporate resp uh, social responsibility why it is important and uh, what are the different types of csr that we can see uh, basically csr is a social responsibility of the business and as you can see on your screen its importance uh, basically it uh, improves the customers perception that customers uh, they feel that yes the company is doing for them it attracts and retains the employees and also the customers and it also increases uh, the appeal uh, to investors that means and investors will be willing to invest more and more funds in the company and when we talk about the different types of csr these four types should be remembered by you one is uh, regarding the environment the other is uh, regarding the philanthropy and ethical labor practice and volunteering so these are the four different types of uh, csr which are generally uh, considered in case of company okay the next question explain the different approaches to csr strategy so when we make a, a csr strategy uh, strategy as a manager so what approaches that you can consider you can uh, you can consider any one of them uh, four approaches here one is cost and uh, risk reduction the second one is gaining competitive advantage over the competitors the third one is developing reputation and uh, legitimacy of the company and fourth creating values for its stakeholders so these four things you need to uh, you know uh, pay attention when you frame a csr strategy uh, the next question is explain uh, briefly explain the present perspective of csr in, in international business and uh, also distinction between classical and modern perspective of csr so you know this uh, csr and international business they are very closely connected and uh, since 1960 uh, the very idea of csr gradually you know it captured the all of the business enterprises and now every country and every company is paying attention to this csr so and uh, while doing the international business we also <coughs> consider this uh, practice of csr now this uh, when we talk about the perspective of csr these two are important classical and modern so both the perspectives like classical was uh, to maximize profit whereas the modern uh, perspective is uh, responsibilities towards the society okay let's move on to next question how csr has helped to achieve uh, the sustainable development goals that is uh, sdg and uh, these are the different uh, goals of uh, the csr which are there in your screen so this was developed by the un in the year 2015 and now like uh, most of the countries around like 193 countries have agreed to work on it and uh, now this uh, this 17 sdg practices which are uh, you know <coughs> which are proposed by the un like all these 17 like no poverty uh, zero hunger good health and well being quality education gender equality clean water and sanitation so like that 
so there are as many as 17 such sdg practices uh, practices which should be employed by an organization uh, the next one is uh, write the contribution of india towards uh, uh, achieving sdg through csr and uh, also highlight the important issues so basically these uh, sdg and csr they are closely linked with one another and the government of india always tried to impose uh, i mean you know uh, to give more importance to this but sometimes there are some conflicts i mean the business enterprises in india they do not follow properly these sdg practices so that result in the conflict okay uh, the next one is uh, the different perspective of business uh, ethics and among the perspectives as you can see these three one is personal and business ethics moral and non-moral standards and business ethics and professional codes so these three needs to be you know explained properly for the exam the next important question that you should revise is what is uh, csr and explain the various types of uh, the csr in the business as we we have we know about this like what is csr it is the corporate social responsibility of a business enterprise towards the society and these are the different types of csr which are uh, you know in practice so this is uh, the csr towards the environment towards the consumer safety towards the product uh, toward the workplace where the you know the employees work so these practices should be employed okay the next question is explain the different phases of the development of csr in india so basically uh, in india that phase 1 uh, that was from 1850 to 1940 so where uh, you know this uh, basically charity and philanthropy work was in practice and the second phase started from 1940 to 1960 so where social development was given more importance the third phase uh, was a mixed economy which starts from 1960 to 1980 and uh, in the fourth and last phase you know it was the interface between uh, uh, philanthropic and business approaches so this needs to be properly expanded okay the next question is uh, what are the different models of social responsibility operating in india so these four models are here one is ethical model the second one is uh, statist model the third the liberal model and fourthly uh, stakeholders model so these are the different models of social responsibility which are operating in india and all these models uh, you know you can get this is exam important one okay <clears throat> the next question uh, discuss the national voluntary guidelines on social environmental economic responsibilities of business in india and also highlight the important provisions so basically you have to learn about these uh, provisions of csr according to companies act uh, 2013 and uh, these are few you know uh, csr practices that should be you know um, um, done by the company and uh, you can also highlight the current trends and practices of CSR in India. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, how these CSR provisions which are there in Schedule 7 of the Companies Act, so uh, what are these uh, important provisions? So basically all these uh, which are related with the SDR and eradicating hunger, poverty, all this, then promoting education, social education like that then promoting gender equality so these are all related with the sdr uh, framework of the un so if you can uh, learn that you can also write this uh, write a short note on the duties and responsibilities of the csr committee and the board this question also you can get it in the exam you can get a short note on social audit this is also very important one uh, the next one that you should revise is uh, what is the rationale behind CSR reporting and what are the different steps involved in CSR reporting. Uh, you can also get the different types of, you know, the techniques of this reporting. So here like these are all the important uh, definition, concept of uh, reporting. And uh, when we talk about the different processes, so all these uh, processes are there, four processes. Uh, you must know the object of the report. Uh, you should have adequate resources then uh, target groups like you know you have you need to identify the stakeholders uh, which who like you know uh, to whom you will share your reports and you should have also a method uh, <coughs> definition 
then some uh, techniques and tools are there for reporting like uh, you know frameworks uh, standards uh, ratings so these are basic uh, basic tools which are uh, used in uh, reporting uh, one uh, this question you can get it on the short note that is brr stands for business responsibility reporting and basically this uh, this is a framework according to the national voluntary guidelines on the social environmental and economic responsibility of india and uh, this report is divided into two parts so part a consists of all basic information and part b consists of all the important principles that should be followed in csr the next is uh, the nature and scope of uh, csr audit and its uh, different procedure and how you will appoint the csr auditors so you should revise this question also uh the next one is uh, what are the important uh, activities which are specified in schedule 7 on csr just now we you know discussed about this uh, in the previous units so basically these are all related with those str which are issued by the un and uh, the next one is uh, you know sustainable development good topic very current topic and how we can achieve the sustainable development so this question you must revise for the exam Uh, you can also uh, learn a short note on tbl that is triple bottom line approach and one more that is hierarchical uh, hierarchy uh, her <coughs> sorry uh, so hierarchical model of csr and uh, uh, the next one is uh, corporate uh, respond uh, sustainability so this few questions you can uh, you know revise for the exam and uh, i hope like if you can go through these questions uh, you won't have any problems in scoring good marks in the exam thank you very much